Saya percaya dengan berkat dan kepercayaan pelbagai pihak kepada Dewan Bandar Raya Kelumpur akan terus memupuk semangat kerjasama untuk membentuk satu komuniti bandar yang berbudaya maju dan berdaya saing. Ladies and gentlemen, Malaysia is one of the most urbanized countries in Southeast Asia with 75.4% of the total population live in urban areas and cities. Combining this with the fact that Malaysia population will hit 41.5 million in 2040, the challenges of urbanization and the limited resources are factors to consider while we plan for the future now. Last year, Kuala Lumpur hosted the World Urban Forum 2018 City for All Nation Urban Forum today recognize that declaration and is a follow-up of it. Kuala Lumpur reaffirms that declaration and has put it into action. Kuala Lumpur is ever a developing city and it endeavors to be one of the world-class cities. We have indeed learned from various other developed cities in the world on urban planning and infrastructure programs. Today, we witness the commitment from other local councils in Malaysia towards the new urban agenda and we thank them for their presence today. I believe that with the participation of mayors, local and regional government assembly, we enlighten and will work together to achieve the inspiration of new urban agenda and the sustainable development goals. I would like to thank all esteemed speakers, especially Dr. Sri Maimunah, come from far north from night. Finally, I would like to thank all the team speakers who are present today. Despite their busy schedule, they are able to make room for this session to enlighten everyone on the efforts taken to provide the best for society. We also thank Urbanize for their assistance and trust to work together with Kuala Lumpur City Hall in organizing this session. I hope that this assembly will be an eye-opener to the society, to the society, a society will be able to hear of the planning, currently ongoing projects, and the successful stories of local governments in order to provide a sustainable, urbanized city and community as a whole across Malaysia. Terima kasih. Thank you. And now, I would like to call upon Her Excellency, Datuk. I understand you. I am one of you. I am with you. So is my team. I brought, I think, at least eight of my team here at UN Habitat. We are together with you, Malaysian. And UN Habitat recognizes the multi-simplicity of national, regional, and local governmental agencies and organizations with competing interests and influence. Improving urban governance requires that the institutional framework is coordinated and transparent. 
Your inhibitor is always ready to work with you to strengthening urban governance with sound institution and mechanism that empower and include representative of urban stakeholders and constituencies, as well as appropriate check and balance, providing predictability and coherence in urban development plans to enable inclusive and sustainable economic growth and environmental protection. Before I conclude, I would like to thank the organizer for the usual Malaysian hospitality extended to me and my team and he has become legendary among my colleagues. A few of my colleagues would like to migrate to Malaysia and asking me, is there anything that we have a chance to have a, a uninhabited small office in Malaysia? We want to come back. They want to stay in Malaysia. I think that's because of the Malaysian hospitality. I also applaud the organizers for choosing compelling team for the forum and this morning assembly. As much as I, I love my work, that takes me all over the world, it is good to be home and here with you. And I wish I can stay longer, but I can't. And I would like also to share with you Everywhere that I, so far, I attended the global conference. I'm going to, to Seville, to Madrid, to officiate the localization of the SDG. Recently, I was in Rwanda. They are also talking about National Urban Policy 2030. I was in Arab State. They are also talking about National Urban Policy 2030. So Malaysia tak ketinggalan. We are today putting up, Malaysia are putting up together with other cities. I always mention we. My colleague used to say that we should say Malaysia really. But the Malaysia part is so close to me. So Malaysia is not left behind. We are here. So together we can create a better quality of life for all. And let's start right now. Thank you very much. I thank you for your attention. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Pak the Executive Director of UN Habitat for the Empowering Yet Lighthearted Speech. To think without the box shall indeed be my new mantra, that was true. Thank you very much. Ladies and A very good Monday morning, everyone. And uh, I also like to wish a happy Chinese New Year to all those celebrating, to all Malaysians celebrating it. And I think all Malaysians celebrated because we had a week off and everyone had rest for the very inspiring speech, Your Excellency Dr. Sri Maimuna. She's always my pride and joy. We, I was there on her first day of starting work way back, way, way back in Penang. And I must tell you that she is a kampong girl at heart because she has showed me a small little wooden house that she built under the tree in her garden. And her husband, Adli, is so caring about her, knowing she'll miss her kampong, build a little small kampong house, which I think I don't think you can stay in it, right? You you can you can, you can. Oh, have you spent a night in that kampong house? Innovation and technology were key, followed by the environment and housing. It's up. And what it does, what does it take? And this will be followed by a panel discussion, which what are the challenges in making of the making of the have a pleasure to call the stage Dr. Benaria Irawaki. He came out of retirement, he and I have the same back into service, which goes to show he is a dynamic leader. I remember when I lived in Japan 25 years ago, uh, and what I like most is uh, tempeh, soya beans. Uh, and now, five years ago, I came back and I settled uh, down. I settled down in Jakarta, so I said that now there so Prang Parai and then Penang as well. So this is all uh, and also we have a nine section and this organization. Um, when we speak louder, when local governments, when the mayor speak louder, we could be heard at the global level, can be heard at the
ke ekstensi Datuk Seri Menurut Syarif Executive Director of UN Habitat Puan Nur Liza Hashim Chief Executive of the Nine Indonesia This Assembly, Ministry of Housing and Local Government Pembenar Indonesia, United Cities and Local Government of Asia Pacific All Mayors and Representatives from Local and Regional Government that will bring towards a vibrant green economy coupled with the Kuala Lumpur Competitive Master Plan. Kuala Lumpur continues taking its food stipulated in our development plan. The plan promotes plan day action in becoming a world-class city that will assume a major global and sub-global role for the benefits of all its communities, workers, visitors and investors. The spatial structure of the city needs to be efficiently developed in order for us to accommodate Kuala Lumpur growing population along with the increasing demand for urban spaces in Kuala Lumpur. Promoting polycentric spatial structure, materializing transit-oriented development TOD, as well as encouraging walking and cycling as a mode of travel within suitable distance will reduce its energy consumption and CO2 emission. In fact, as well as cost of living, hence making Kuala Lumpur a resilient city to live in. Rapid urban development and current development trends and activities require new approaches in managing cities that are responsive and adaptable to changes and future requirements, including the adults in building design such as state level by this must begin charting a clear, practicable road and lead other nation cities towards achieving the nation by 2020 compared to 2005 levels. Complete holistic green growth and low carbon society. Hence, there is, there is a need to apply methods that is cost effective by, by integrating the green building elements as part of the architectural and intermaterial and eliminates waste, reduces the ecological footprints, uses energy efficient system and materials. Plans for future maintenance, reduce, reuse, reuse, reduce and recycles materials, conserve and reuse water and trees of storm water, run up outside and extra. Urban economy prosperity in this of the city has its own set effects and impacts. The expanding urban population will require a whole range of infrastructure services, housing, jobs, recreational areas, and amenities, not to mention land for development. The rapid population growth also led to the deterrations in the physical environment in the city, hence resulted in a deterioration of the presentation of four pieces, which are prioritize, land, protect and provide and for this wish and validity respect respectively. This section statements are needed in order to answer to the call of the new urban agenda as well as to harmonize and fulfilling the eleven sustainable development goals. It is a success and meets the noble aims in creating livable and better cities of town. Sekian, apabila itu, kita ada yang bersalam. Thank you very much, Dato. What actions needed to be done mainly by local authorities? Uh, because 65% of SDG are to be implemented at the local level. And you've heard... ...experience in this kind of nation. Just now, in isolation with one another, you have to look in totally. But 
if you look at all the issues, how can we begin to manoeuvre and deal with the problems as we go through the years of administration of local government? Looking from the more or less the support of Vision 2020. So, what you have Greater London, for instance, is made up of more than 20 that is made up of more than 30 constituents that made up of your companies. Then, she well known. And main challenge is that the sand and most of them, the boom and push factor. Firstly, the leadership. Because I believe that leadership make an impact and to the lead and lead. population of all the nearly 2 million, they also have profiled as a Muslim authority uh, that we need. So, dialogues. If you were to take one word from last year's uh, WF, it's open. Because he's welcoming us. So, <clears throat> my question is, um, just now, one of the speakers asked whether we are confident that we can achieve um, adopt an, an approach to include everyone. So in your development plan, you should have an inclusive development plan so that everybody will be included in whatever you do. That's right. I think it's important. Um, it's important. If the population is 1.8 million, all these people, all people, we must listen. We must is what we make KL now want to do. Give back the quality life. To make sure that number one, that communities play a strategic role. Everyone in the city, that community are the assets in the city. To make it dynamic, we've got to work, listen, act with the community. There needs to be synergy, there needs to be a neighbourly working together well, because not everyone has everything within your own authority is to be shared. It's not just about the built environment, it's about having the heart, many of us, having the heart to care enough to make cities for all, not leave anyone behind. Remember, you may be 35 today, but in a few years' time, you'll be elderly like me and more elderly like 85 or 90, but still living in the city. So we want a better life for all. So the way forward is really to act locally, getting all these challenges that the city offers you, but take it also as opportunities for you to innovate and initiate. All right? That's what the message we got from the Executive Director of UN Habitat. That's the way forward. So let us all thank the panelists with us by a round of applause. Thank you very much. And I'd like to thank you, participants, for being so attentive and to participate also in the discussion. I believe that the question or suggestion about the Metropolitan Authority that could spark more discussions and more strategies to come. Thank you very much. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Mashed potato, leche ubi, kopi o in the morning. That was one fruitful assembly. Thank you all for coming. So I would like to now...